Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ivan and um, I do makeup, skincare, and other things on here. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Today, I just wanted to sit down, talk to you guys, and do my makeup and also drink some coffee. Uh, just a chill day. I haven't had a long time to just talk and I guess just express my feelings about certain things. It's just like busy, you know, with life and obligations and there's just so much going on that sometimes this is my time to just sit down, unwind, talk to myself. I feel like we spend so much time learning about other people that we don't really get the time to learn about ourselves like deeply and what we believe in. And I think that's very, very important, finding a purpose and why you're doing what you're doing. Sometimes it just takes 10 minutes, sometimes it takes couple years. I think it takes work, you know, finding your purpose. I wanted to give a special thanks for Urban Decay for sponsoring this video. I'm super honored to partner with them. I saw the latest campaign. I think um, I saw Lizzo, CL, and Ezra Miller on there. That's how you make a campaign, you know. I loved it. Also, I've been a really long fan of Ezra and also CL. And recently Lizzo, because her music is just great. Um, my skin is a little bit red. Sorry about that guys, I'm actually going out after but I forgot to put sunscreen. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. It is a pore perfecting primer. It's by Urban Decay. It's a smoothing primer. It has argan and rosehip oil so it'll help like hydrate while it fills up the pores. So I'm only gonna use it where I need to which is around the nose. That's where I usually get like, where foundation settles a little bit more. You don't really need primer all over the face I feel like, because this part of my face is pretty, really no problems there. The thing with makeup is that you don't have to like, put on everything you have, it's just different areas have different needs. Put on the neck too, my neck gets kind of like, wrinkly sometimes. <laughs> I just saw the new Mulan trailer actually, and it kind of looks quite amazing, and obviously it's all, it's like the cast is, Asian, which is great. Obviously, as a cartoon, like, I watched so many cartoons and Mulan was the only one that I was like, remotely, I felt a connection to. Um, everything else was great, um, I think. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy they're doing a remake. I just wanna, I wanna watch it. I already know what happens. I mean, we all know what happens, but it's just nice to see something reflected on the screen that I can relate to, you know? Not that I relate to Mulan. It's just more relatable than, say, anything out there, you know. Today, I'm gonna use the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This foundation has 50 shades, 50 shades. And I think it's really, really important because these days, I feel like everyone should be able to find their, their foundation match. I feel like you shouldn't be excluded from the conversation. This Urban Decay one is really, really nice. It's sort of like a naked velvet matte finish and I found my shade on the website actually. So there are nine intensities from lightest to darkest, and then there is a master tone, and then there, there's set three master tones and seven undertones also. And the range is really great from ultra fair to deep skin tones. This is a 24 hour wear foundation, and my shade is in 30, 30 WY. I think it's on the warmer one. It's a very comfortable, flexible foundation. So it's not gonna feel cakey or heavy on the skin. It actually lasts a long time. I wear, I'm, I've been wearing this for the summer. It matches me perfectly. I'm only using a little bit and it's like clearing up my, like my complexion because I have some redness. But let me tell you, this foundation shade matches me so perfectly. I'm just very impressed with the entire campaign. Uh, and the videos that they have been coming out with. I really like Lizzo's music at the moment. I think she's very, very talented and her flute, <laughs> her flute playing skills. My favorite song from the album for her album is, I mean, Juice is definitely like a bop, but I also like um, Soulmate, because it's true and you gotta be your own soulmate before looking for it in somebody else, you know? Just in case you guys are wondering, because you guys will ask, the foundation is cruelty free and also vegan. Uh, and it looks really, really nice. My, my skin feels covered, but not heavily covered. Um, I think it's like super like flexible. It like, doesn't look cakey at all. It's like a soft matte finish. 
So that's the foundation. I'm gonna go in with an under eye corrector. This is the shade Peach. And I find that Peach is just great for under the eyes. And I need this coloration, especially like 5 o'clock shadow, which, you know, we get from shaving. Um, a peach tone will just help neutralize it without feeling heavy on the skin. Instead of using a lot, a lot of um, concealer, you don't really need to if you have the right color, you know? And peach just helps with the blue-greenness under, just cancels each other out, you know? I also just saw today that what, there was a new Marvel, uh, Asian Marvel superhero movie, which is quite amazing. I actually have not watched a lot of the Marvel movies, and I know a lot of people are gonna dog me for it, um, or like tell me I, like, I'm uncultured. <laughs> I just never, never watched it because um, I don't feel reflected in um, them. I know a lot of people do, which is great, but you know, that whole like macho superhero thing, um, I just never related to it. I never saw myself as like that kind of a superhero. Maybe I'd be surprised, maybe I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah, I used to watch uh, Iron Man and stuff, but recently I, I don't feel like I'm part of that franchise. So I'm really excited to have like a Asian superhero movie. I just finished contouring lately and I'm gonna go in with my eyes. Representation is like a really um, tricky term, right? Because a lot of people are using terms like those terms now, representation. Some people are saying like, oh, like we know Asian people exist. We know you exist. It doesn't just apply to Asian people. It applies to, you know, like LGBTQ people, black, brown folk that, you know, systematically have been like oppressed. I think there should be a lot more intersectionality and a lot of uplifting or, up, you know, uplifting each other in the community. You know, I think it's just so important because, I don't know, growing up, I feel like I never had any, like, role models, really, to look up to in terms of the entertainment industry, and therefore, I never thought of myself as being capable of being in the, in the industry. Like, it just wouldn't make sense because who, who would be there? Like Jackie Chan, which I mean, obviously, I'm a huge fan of. Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, um, Jet Li, uh, those were the people I saw, but they were like incredibly talented too, um, in terms of martial arts. And, you know, I, I don't do martial arts. I just didn't see myself fitting into any of that. I'm using the Naked Reloaded palette anyway, uh, by the way. It's a very um, orangey tone. I think I'm gonna use these two colors to contour my eyes and this one just to add a little color. I'm just gonna define my crease. Asians have been traditionally, in Hollywood anyways, casted into roles that, I don't know, like roles that, it doesn't tell the full story, you know? Um, we, we, we were casted as Asians and not as, I guess, people, because I can, I can be Asian, but I can also be a scholar, a librarian, a makeup artist, whatever else it is, you know, not just, you know, martial arts or a funny nerd or something like that, because traditionally that's what I've only seen Asians in. Very, like, mystical roles, like a ninja or a samurai, which, I mean, that's kind of, like, dated. I mean, I'm sure there are people like that out there, but the general public of Asian people that I see <laughs> are not those things. I'm definitely happy to see that there is a trend in terms of like how people see us, um, especially with the rise of, you know, K-pop and BTS and everything too, which is great. I think it's great, but we also need a lot of um, dark or brown, brown Asian representation, you know? Growing up in Malaysia, it's very diverse. Um, I'm used to seeing people of all different shades. We watch Indonesian dramas, we watch Taiwanese dramas growing up, so, I, I mean, it was never an issue because I could sort of see myself reflected. But coming to the United States, um, I feel like I haven't seen as much um, people of different colors playing different roles. And if there are, they're very like niche. So with Crazy Rich Asian, I felt like in a long time, long, long time, that was one of the films that I sort of saw my myself in my own family. Obviously, I, I don't really to being like crazy rich but the, the the ideals are there you know my friends also told me about the farewell um with aquafina and i actually 
really want to watch it. I'm going to use the dark brown shade Endgame and just line the eyes. And I'm keeping it very close to her lash line. And I heard that she actually speaks Mandarin in the movie and she's a Korean American woman. And I think that's super, that's super inspirational. Just amazing, you know? It is difficult to go so, to live somewhere and learn another language and act in it. Um, so I have mad pro like I just have so much respect for her. Um, but if you already watch it, don't spoil it. Let me know down below if you liked it or not. It's been a while since I felt so, um, um, proud in terms of being Asian here in America, you know, because I see people like Joji, Yuna, their music, I'm listening to their music and I'm like, wow, we can, like, we can make music, ama like, amazing music just like anybody else, and before that, before all this happened, um, it's almost seemed, like, impossible. For Myself personally, um, with makeup, I look for inspiration for makeup, and I look for inspiration on like Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and for the longest time, I never saw somebody that like this doing makeup that's not like a celebrity. And so now, I think more and more on Instagram, I see that you know people like that look like me are being featured. It's acceptable for them to do this. Sorry, I'm lining my eyes, so I'm just trying to. Be so I'm actually lining in the inner corner, the, the inside, with the dark, and then lining outside. So I'm just gonna connect that. Just buff out the edges right there. Sort of creating like a shadow, you know? The big reason why I started my YouTube channel is because I just needed an outlet for creativity. And it just so happened that I ended up, I am Asian. And so the looks that I did I mean, you can categorize it as Asian makeup. To me, it was just makeup, you know? If you guys are watching this, or in the future even, whatever you're doing, don't let anybody or anything stop you, because life is short. Life is short. And I, I hope, I hope you can do whatever you wanna do without fear of people judging you. And the thing, one biggest thing that was holding me back was fear of judgment for wearing makeup and I think now I'm a little bit more comfortable with that and representation definitely matters and helps with that and a lot of people don't think it matters because maybe they've seen themselves in the media and they're comfortable they are part of the norm and so they don't understand why it's so important to us don't dismiss those people I think um, if you have the capacity you should open up conversation and just tell them why it's important to you and how it makes you feel when you see somebody that looks like you reflected on the media. And if you love those people, support them, uplift them, share their content, talk about them because when Fresh Off The Boat came out, I shared it, I loved it. What speaks to you, share it and uplift it and love it. I'm gonna use this color. It's an like eye pencil and it's called Alkaline. It's a really pretty plummy color. Just on a line under, just in the inner corner under the inner corner. And these are waterproof too, I've tried them. But yeah, it just gives a little bit of a different color. I think for the longest time I never knew that this could be possible because it's just always the way it was. So you don't really think much about it. But after seeing more and more people like me in the media, or people I can relate to in the media, um, it makes me happier. But I know this is just literally the start. When I was like doing makeup a lot, um, I would always like look at inspiration photos and you know brands and makeup and Pinterest and everything. But I only saw people that had diff a different eye shape than I did, you know. So I think it was like really hard for me to believe that it was possible. I remember when I was in community college, and this was just a couple years ago. At that time, Walking Dead was like popping. It was so popular, everybody was just watching Walking Dead. And Steven Yoon plays a character in Walking Dead, right? And I'm, uh, I don't watch it, so I don't know. I guess we look similar. At the time, I didn't think we looked similar at all, because I'm like, oh, not all Asians look alike. I kid you not, a lot of people will come up to me while just like trying to study. Oh my god, do you watch The Walking Dead? And I'm like, oh, 
No, I don't, but I already know what they were gonna ask because I got that question so much. I'm flattered, I guess, like he's good looking, but I don't think we'll look alike though. Now with more representation, more uh, Asian faces in the media, you know, it's easier to differentiate people now. I'm gonna use a neutral color blush to blend everything up a little bit. I've been loving this brow blade. This is a really, really good pen. One side is a pencil and one side is like a marker. I'm gonna use the pencil side first just to show you. This is in shade Dark Drapes. It's like a darker warm tone. Since I'm doing a warm tone makeup, I'm gonna use a warm tone pencil. I can use a cool tone and warm tone depending on like the eye color I do, really. I really like the natural brow look these days, like they're very fluffy brows, so I'll show you how to create that. I mentioned Yuna earlier and her song with um, Little Sims, Pink Youth, so good. You know, she's from Malaysia, just like me. I think it's so interesting being an Asian doing, an Asian Muslim woman doing music in America that is from Malaysia. And I think that's super powerful. Uh, I think that's super inspiring. And not to mention she's talented, you know, like she's all of those things, but also songwriter, talented singer, uh, artist, and creative. And so, yeah, it's super inspiring to see that. It makes me want to do more and it makes, inspires me to do more. So I hope in the future I can find more like role models that want, like make me want to do more, make me want to show myself more and be proud of uh, who I am and what I can do. So to create little brow hairs, I'm gonna use this. I just want to do a couple in the front. Like that. Can you see how that like creates like brow hairs? And you can use this pen to also draw faux freckles because it's so fine and so easy to do. The lips, I'm gonna use two colors and layer them. This is a new shade. It's a cream lipstick, it's called Naked. Mauve tone color, that's like, you know, universal rosy. I've been loving the very diffused lip right now. It's like undefined lip. I think it's so pretty right now. It's sort of like you just kiss somebody, like a legit just kiss somebody. Oh, my camera didn't catch that, but I'm, I'm using the color Bang. It's such a vibrant orange red. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle and sort of smudge it out with a brush. To make my lips appear a little bit poutier and fuller, I'm gonna take the same cream shade and draw it under right here. Very subtle, but it does make a difference. It does make your lips look poutier. Okay, after you're done with that, go ahead and grab a powder. And just powder. Going back to this palette, I'm gonna get the color bucked. I'm gonna shade the side of the lips just a tiny bit. And under as well. This gives the lips a little bit of a powdier effect. Do you remember more dimension, if you can tell? It's a very subtle difference. I think I'm gonna intensify the top just colors just a little bit. With monolid eyes, a good tip is just to slowly build up the colors from the lash line to the top. Just slowly build it up. Unless you're doing a really graphic eye, then you can just like draw on it, you know? To set the face, I'm gonna go in with this Iconic D Slick All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. It's really, really popular. It does work really well. And yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and took something away from this. I think, to summarize, I think representation is just amazing. Um, it's for me as a little Malaysian boy, I think I haven't really seen anybody like myself, but it's okay because I have seen so many amazing other people that are fighting for themselves and also fighting for their spot and to be seen and you know i think you don't know how great it is until you see it and i felt amazing when i watched crazy rich asians and i don't know i think i would love what's coming up too and feel super inspired 
And I want to say thank you and keep pushing, keep fighting because we're here and we deserve to be seen. And who knows, like your next step, whatever you do might inspire somebody else. So if you are struggling with that, know that you're not alone and you got this and you're amazing and you're talented and, and I love you. Thank you so much Urban Decay for partnering with me for this video. Don't forget to check out their Stay Naked uh, Weightless Liquid Foundation. It is a 24 hour wear. Uh, I'll link it down below. You can actually shade match on the website. So it's really, really easy and I shade match mine on the website. If there are any other topics that you want me to talk about, go ahead and leave it down below and I will try my best to cover them in the best of my ability too. So thank you guys. Bye.